let's get this interview started. I'm I'm Charles. I'm the inventor of the OxyGreen Blaster and Bedbug Destruct system. And today I'm interviewing one of my first beta testers in the field of the PCO class, Robert Rosales from Affordable Pest Control in Clovis, New Mexico. Is that right, Robert? Robert? Yes, sir. Sure is. So, Robert, you've been doing the green bed bug removal, and you are, you're one of the few PCOs that I work with that actually has taken green as a theme in his business and run with it. Is that right? Yes, sir. Everything we do is, is uh, non-man-made uh, uh, chemical. We are using the, uh, a lot of the essential oils. So tell me a little bit about your business, Robert. How long have you been a PCO, and what types of treatments do you and your business focus on? Well, I've actually been in the industry since uh, 2000. We have uh, started off with a large corporation and kind of learned how to do everything with the man-made chemicals. And being that we have animals, and every time there's something new product came out, we always tried it around our animals first to make sure that there was no problems with it and just didn't seem uh, confident that they had all on their MSDS sheets that they were completely safe around the animals but yet I, uh, a uh, chemical is made to kill so since it's made to kill regardless of what they said it was going to attack all animals and people and pets and everything without uh, any regard. So and you notice some reactions to livestock with the traditional uh, pesticides. Yes, sir. You know, with some of the stuff that they tell you, they've got bittering agents in it. After talking to the vets, most animals don't have taste buds on their tongue. It's in the back of their throat. So with that, with knowing that, it's hard to say yeah, the animals will not eat it because they uh, don't like the taste of it when it's got to be down their throat before they can taste it. Ah, interesting. So, start looking into essential oils and finding out that most essential oils actually attack neuroreceptors that uh, only the insects have, which makes it a lot safer for people and pets, and not only mine, but my customers as well. I see. So when you decided to start your own business, did you start with the green treatments right from the beginning when you quit working for your boss? When we started our business, we had we did the uh, uh, traditional way everybody was used to, but we also offered the green. And we found out in the first two to three months of business, everyone was wanting the green pest control rather than the traditional. So we changed everything throughout all the uh, traditional chemicals and what was the essential oils. Really? So within your first three months of being in business, you started a green focus? Yes, sir. And now we are 100% green, right and down to recycling our paper that we don't use for service tickets. Really? So what types of treatments do you does your business focus on? Do you... We do everything from basic ants and roaches all the way through bed bugs and wildlife control as well you do is there a scorpion problem in new mexico do you have to worry with that yes sir we sure do it's uh one of the things we found out that works really well with those um is going to find out where they live and most time it's in a void space so dax mesh surf works extremely well really so how long have you been killing bed bugs, Robert? We have been doing bed bugs, oh, probably the last three years. So what did you do before you started using the OxyGreen Blaster? It's been about a year and a, I think a year and a quarter since you've had your system. Yes, sir. Before we were doing the old-fashioned steam, take everything apart, steaming out all the cracks and crevices and everywhere we could reach with a with the steam machine, but and how, how labor intensive was that? Um, a normal treatment would take anywhere from eight to twelve hours of with, manual labor. Yes, sir. That's wow. not perfection. That is from the time I turn the steam system on 
the time I turned it off. Wow. It was extremely hot in there. We did know that we were taking the risk of starting up a mold problem with using the steam. Mm-hmm. Our customers that one of the bed bugs is gone were willing to take that chance. Got it. So, what made you decide to? So, so the but the bed bug equipment that you owned before mine was just steam equipment, right? Yes, sir. What? How did you originally find me and? What led you to start investigating uh, my ozone system? Um, we found you in a, in a small ad in a PCT magazine. PCT magazine. Um, we had just gotten tired of trying to spend 12 hours using steam and knowing that we had to go back three or four times and spend 12 hours each time we did it. We knew there had to be a different system. and We know we looked at heat systems, but did see um, how folks had been using heat systems for 10 years or still burning buildings down. And we know we wanted to get rid of bed bugs, but we didn't want to make somebody homeless for it either. Got it. Did you talk to any of the other steam comp or heat companies rather and find out that that's a pretty time consuming process also? Yes, sir. We sure did. And, you know, they're telling us for a standard house, we're looking 12 to 14 hours to do a treatment. Um, of course, if we were lucky enough that we didn't burn a house down, that the uh, we could still melt their thousand dollar TVs and anything else that was made of had plastic on it or anything like that. So that was definitely not a route we wanted to go. So delamination and the different things that you have to do, the learning curve to figure out what to not damage, is was something that you didn't like like very much. Exactly. Um, you know, when we're go- when we go into a customer's house, we got we treat it like it's our own house, and knowing uh, ahead of time that we we'll get- we run a real good risk of destroying their belongings, that uh, just was not something that would interest us. So, do you have a lot of uh, would you say low income families that you do the bed bug systems on? I know you mentioned there's a lot of double wide uh, trailers where you live. Yes, sir. Um, in fact, the, the uh, most of our calls come from um, either military or from elderly folks that are on fixed incomes and don't don't have the uh, the ability to pay out high high dollar companies to come in and take care of their problems. So. You, you name your company as Affordable Pest Control, so you've managed to somehow figure out how to kill the bugs 100%, be effective, be 100% green down to the point of recycling your tickets and still be cheaper than other companies in your area? Yes, sir. In fact, um, every other company in our area charges uh, somewhere between 500 and 750 a room. Well, we're charging about 600 for the whole house. Wow. Now, see, I just interviewed another one of my customers from Oklahoma last week, and he's the most expensive where he is using my system, and you're coming in and beating their pants off on price because you're saving labor. Yes, sir, exactly. Um, of course, it's, uh, when they talk to their folks, they're telling me, you know, we're gonna, they're going to spray all this uh, chemical in their house and please don't come back in for two or three days so let the chemical dry don't let your kids lick the walls knowing dang well their kids are going to lick the walls as soon as they get back in yeah. yeah so how many jobs would you say you've done with our system we have done probably 20 jobs with the system so far 20 jobs with the system so you don't get a lot of bed bug calls where you are no sir we sure don't um our hardest part is, even though we're still the, the cheapest price-wise, we get a lot of folks that are expecting us to walk in and do a baseboard job for $40 you know, to take care of the bed bugs. I see. But so what, was the, what has your experience been? Have you figured out a way to, to make the system function and kill bed bugs just the way I said it would? Yes, sir. Um, Back, we've got other companies now calling us and going, you know, we're going to 
subcontract to you, bring your system in. One of the companies actually has control of our local university. And they have, the university has actually offered that company a brand new heat system and the company has said no, that they'll subcontract to us to do it. Really? Yes, sir. So now you've started to position yourself as a person that can kill the bed bugs and you're getting referrals from other contractors in your area. Yes, sir. Um, in fact, since we've gotten the system, we've uh, been moved into a whole new uh, level of uh, pest control company. If you call another company and you got questions about bed bugs, the first thing they do is refer them to us. And we are now the experts in our part of the state. So I remember your first bed bug job with my system. Do you, re you remember that too? Because you called, you did something that I recommended against doing because I know there's a little learning curve when you're figuring out how to use the system. And you said, Charles, I'm pretty confident I did this on my own house. I ran my first treatment and, I, and I'm ready to bring in the press. And you called your local TV station, isn't that true? It's, well, it's actually a TV station out of the largest city in the state, and they broadcast the whole state. So, uh, when you told them you had a green bed bug treatment, what did they say to you? They said, we have bed bug problems up here in our part of the state, and are you really sure you can get rid of the bed bugs and you can do it safely? And I told them, yes, sir, I'm absolutely 100% sure. We're going to do it in one treatment. And they said, we're, we'd like to send a crew to, to interview you. Yes, sir, they sure did. Um, in fact, they called the night before the treatment. They called the morning of the treatment. And the only downside was the, uh, the folks they sent out were not really excited about having to sit outside in the heat and watch the treatment being done. <laughs> I bet. So when it, all was, when it all shook out in the wash, they ended up giving you a real nice article and they ran your spot on TV for three days, correct? Yes, sir. The original plan was they were going to show me about a 10 minute clip um, that same evening and we had a big fire in the state and it got canceled out because of the fire and they turned around and ran it every newscast for three days about it. And of course, it's still up on their website so they can so everyone can see it. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a great system. It was, it was a great deal to do. And the headline was uh, Clovis Company Zaps Bed Bugs with New Green Technology, right? Yes, sir. It sure was. And yeah. so that's we, got you a little bit more business. Yes, sir. We get calls from all over the state that want to know if we'd be willing to travel. And, of course, yeah, we are willing to travel. Um, it does cost a little extra because the fuel prices are up. Sure. Well, Robert, remind me after this interview to talk to you about my new ozone fuel-saving device that you can add into the, under the hood of your truck and save 20 to 30% on your gas. Maybe that'll help you get, a look, get, get your cost down a little. Does it work on diesel trucks? Sure does. Sure All right. does. So uh, how much selling do you do on an ongoing basis to keep your business running and to make sure the bed bugs keep calls keep coming in? Um, actually, now that we're set up as the experts on the bed bugs in, the, in our part of the state, it's all word of mouth from, our, from all of our competitors. So have you tried the system to kill other bugs yet? Yes, sir. Well, we've uh, done really good with uh, German roaches. Um, get folks that just want, us, want the bug guys in there for one time, get rid of them, don't come back. Uh, explain to them what the system does. They are uh, extremely happy with it, so we come in and use the system. And it costs a little bit more, but uh, takes a little bit more out of their day, but most of them are at work the whole time we're doing the treatment, so it works out for everybody. And we are, Like I said, we're getting rid of their German roaches. So you've done more than 20 treatments. You've only done 20 bed bug treatments. Just pointing bed bug treatments. Yes, sir. We're we're actually using the system uh, a couple times a week. Oh, you are. So how many times would you say you've used the system? Hundreds. Yes, sir. Oh, really? Okay, awesome. So that's one of for some of the other 
PCOs that are out there that don't have your green theme. They don't care about green. They don't want to hear about green. They just want something that works. What would you tell them about my system if they were looking to buy it? It's it, not only is it a green system, it brings in the green. There, the cash flow that we get coming in from the system is, is just amazing. Uh, you know, we're actually breaking into new areas now where we're talking to the real estate agents and, hey, you know, these houses are set vacant for two years. You know, you're going to have the spiders in there. You're going to have the bugs in there. Plus, you also want it to be sanitized when you're showing these houses. Have we're you started up. to get well, the odor removal business then? Yes, sir. Wow. Have you really focused on that yet? We're just now, so we're just now getting into it. Um, in fact, we've just met with our local uh, real estate association. Great. And they're uh, starting to get on board with it as well. They're... Do you have many apartment contracts, or are there no apartments where you live? I know you're in a more rural part of the state. Yes, sir. We have we have apartments. Um, Unfortunately, their their owners don't like to spend a whole lot of money, so they're really stay out of that. Well, I'll tell you the the. Did you watch the video I shot with Larry in uh, Arkansas, the the odor removal system owner? No, sir, not yet. I highly suggest that you do that. His pricing strategy to get into the apartment complexes for the odor removal is pretty unique and. What he's done is he's found out that these property managers have a $200 cap where they can write a PO for something up to 200 bucks, but over 200 bucks they got to go up the line. And when you go up the chain, they don't like to spend the money. But they found that they're able to save a lot on carpet replacements and painting in some of these stinky units by doing the odor removal treatment that uh, my odor guys offer. And so he prices a one bedroom at 150, a two bedroom at 175, a three bedroom at 185. He lets the equipment run for four to five hours, which is a real long time, just like you're doing a bed bug treatment, but he never gets a call back. So he's over gassing to make sure that he's never going to be returning. Because right. at that low dollar rate, you don't have the money to come back and do it again. But, you know, he's able to make his equipment run six days a week, and he's got five systems working uh, every one of those days, and it's all apartments. So make sure you watch that video. But that's awesome. You're cracking into the real estate market. You've done odor removal. You're killing German cockroaches. Um if you were talking to a potential system owner and you had to tell them one thing about why they should buy the system, what would you say? Um, saves you on your callbacks. Callbacks kill a PCO. Yeah, let them go on callback. You're doing it for free. Yep. No reason to with with the system. There's no reason to be going back on going on callbacks. So you save the, the fuel and the labor charges on that, and that's worth a million dollars there. Got it. Well, Robert, I think that's all that I really have for you, unless there's something else that you want to share, any kind of interesting story that you've had related to using the system or anything funny that's ever happened to you. Um, just my competition is just, just can't believe that we're, that we are doing this and we've set ourselves apart from them. Uh, with our success with it. So uh, you're you're you've become the go to guy and they're trembling in their boots. Yes, sir, exactly. We've got folks we've got companies there that have been in business for the last eighty years there and here I am been in business in the same area for five years and we've already moved ahead of them. Awesome. That's a amazing success story, Robert. Well, I, I thank you for buying the equipment from me. I thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to, to record this interview. And I really do appreciate your time. Oh, not a problem. 